Hello everybody and welcome back to War Thunder and we've got a lot of stuff to cover today. The War Thunder 10th anniversary is upon us and I'm going to be telling you all about the sales, the uh, rare vehicles and of course how to unlock the Sturm Tiger. So we celebrate a wonderful date. November the 1st is the 10th year anniversary of War Thunder which is also the date the uh, game moved into open beta back in 2012. So they've prepared many activities, discounts and other great stuff. War Thunder welcomes uh, you in a special anniversary hangar like never seen before. Birthday discounts will be there for a whole week with no rotation so you'll be able to purchase everything you ever wanted for a nice price. So previously they did it in like a weird rotation so only certain nations will be on sale at a time. For example, British and, and American vehicles will be on sale for two days, then it'll be German and Russian vehicles and so on. But now they're all on sale for the, at the same time, so that's good. So there's also some Twitch stream bonuses. So, all discounts will be available from Halloween, so today, to November the 7th. So that's good, you have a whole week to buy whatever you like. You have 50% off for all modifications, talismans and backups. 50% uh, off premium count and 50% off all silver lions and golden eagle, golden eagle vehicles for all gaming nations. However, this does not include vehicles from the recent updates, so drone age and fire and ice vehicles, and it also doesn't include uh, squadron vehicles. So keep that in mind. So everything is 50% off aside from those. And the vehicles in the uh, store, so pack vehicles like the Rural Count 105, for example, are also not on sale. So, your first ten, your first battle in the 10 years anniversary will bring you a special decal, which is this. Very cool. So if you play one battle on any vehicle of rank 3 or above, and I imagine you will, then you get this nice 10th anniversary decal. But... Here is what the, uh, the a lot of you have been waiting for. So take part in the Dreams Come True event to get special decals, decorations, a special loading screen and the unique Sturm Tiger itself. So how do we get the Sturm Tiger? Well, so these are various other prizes you can uh, unlock on the way. So basically each stage will be unlocked for 35,000 mission points accumulative, accumulated over the specified two days and will bring a new reward. New stages will be available at 11 GMT on the 31st of October, so that's today as this video goes up, the 2nd, 4th, 6th, 8th and 10th and 12th of November. You can get mission points in ground battles, yep, ground battles only, of rank 3 in arcade, realistic and simulator. And obviously the number of mission points for completing a task depends on what game mode you play. You can get these points by using any vehicle, any event vehicle of rank 1 and 2 as well. And such vehicles have the name of the event in which it was obtained in the vehicle card. So just in case you're wondering which one is an event vehicle. So for the first 35,000 points, so day 1, you get the a unique title. Um, stage 2 you get the better together decal which is this stage 3 you get this which is a Roman numeral 10 which you can put on ships then you get a pinup which you can put on planes and a Chris a birthday cake celebration which you can put on ground vehicles so that's very nice and stage 6 obviously you get the Sturm Tiger itself Stage 7, you get the unique loading screen. Not sure what the unique loading screen will be. I imagine it will be this. Unless they have some unique Sturm Tiger loading screen. Which will be cool. Uh, you can track the progress uh, by selecting in the menu Achievements, then War Thunder Anniversary, then Dreams Come True. If you didn't finish the stage until the 16th of November, you'll be able to purchase passing stages for golden eagles in the achievement window and get corresponding prizes so a lot of people worried in the Sturm tiger video that they'll have to actually play this video play this event um so yeah basically you won't have to worry uh 
That is um, interesting. Yeah, so if you can't do the event, whether you don't have much time lately, then you can just buy each stage for gold as they come out. I imagine it will be about a thousand each. Uh, but um, other interesting news, which is uh, something that I hadn't considered before, but it looks like there might be a certain Russian jet coming in the future. Uh, if you pay close attention, I think that one's gone over most people's heads. But uh, more on that in a future video. Uh, hint, hint, nod, nod. I think the MiG-29 is on its way. Fascinating. But anyways, yeah. So this is the next part. From Halloween to the 7th of November, so the next week, you're able to get... 10 unique premium vehicles from past War Thunder birthdays. So you can do this just by playing multiplayer battles and so on. So, yep, there's one of them. <laughs> Let's just first quickly cover how you do this. It's a bit like the Sturm Tiger event, except you can do this. Uh, there's no, like, you can only do it once every so and so days. You can do this all in one go if you're that insane. So, the amount of points increases. This is points as in like your mission score when you're in battle, so the leaderboard. Uh, all the way from 5,000 points all the way up to 1 million. When 1 million is quite a lot of points. I imagine uh, these stack. So for example, if you get 5,000 points to complete stage 1, then you only need 20,000 points for stage 2. And if you're on stage 9, you just got 800,000 points, then you only need an extra 200,000 to reach stage 10. I imagine. Don't take my word for that, but I assume that's how it is, because otherwise that's uh, like upwards of 3 to 4 million points in a week, and I don't think anyone will be able to get that. So, you can do this in tanks, planes, or ships. It has to be rank 3 or above as well. Uh, so it's just the same as the Sturm Tiger, basically. And you can track track your progress and achievements, then War Thunder Anniversary, then 10 rare vehicles. So you have, uh, there's a bunch of different um, unique rare event vehicles. This one's highly sought after. Uh, that's very rare. That I didn't know existed. Uh, <laughs> this one I actually have, uh, but it's quite expensive on the marketplace, so that one's pretty valuable. Uh, this one was one of the original pre-orders for when the French came out. I haven't seen it on sale in years, so very rare, obviously. This one's very expensive on the marketplace. Um, this one can be found on the marketplace for a cheap price. But again, you get one of these at random for each stage you complete, uh, providing you don't have it already. So, for example, if you already have this plane, then you'll get one any one of the other nine vehicles available. Uh, this one, again, didn't know existed. <laughs> So very rare indeed. DB7, which I have. And the Skyrocket. If you have all 10 of the vehicles somehow, maybe you're just a veteran of this uh, game, then for each stage you complete, then you'll get three days of premium in debt, which is nice. Now, onwards. The King of the Heavies is back. That's right. Once again, you'll be able to research the mouse from Halloween till November the 7th once again. So you have a week to do this. All you have to do is be rank 5 of German ground forces. Uh, then you'll be able to assign research to this vehicle. It will be on the right in the event and premium vehicles tab. I think it's below the E100. So, it doesn't matter how much research you have, even if you just invert, invest one research point into it. So, as long as you've started researching it, you're able to do that forever. If you haven't started researching the mouse by that time, then it will no longer be unlockable until, you know, the next time they release another event, and it is unlockable. So, even if you just invest one RP, it will be there forever for you to continue researching whenever you like. So keep that in mind. Next, we have 10,000 rare packs for the 10th anniversary. For the next week, Gaijin Net Store offers 10,000 packs of rare vehicles. Hurry up, there are only 2,000 packs of each vehicle available. So, these are very rare indeed. The T-34 prototype and the M4748A, which is more affectionately known as Herman the German Sherman. <laughs> uh, uh, so, the T-34A is basically the same as the T-34 1940 but rarer and it comes with a cute little light. Um, 
comes with 2,000 gold and 30 days of premium. The German Sherman also comes with 2,000 gold and 30 days of premium. Very rare vehicles, but remember there's only 2,000 of each, so if you want them, then now's your chance. Kennedy's PT-109. Kennedy's PT-109 is a historical um, modification of the PT-109 that JFK himself served on in World War II. And then there's these two other boats, a Russian one and a German one. These were the original naval, I think, beta test pre-order packs. So these are the first boats to go into the game, basically. If you're excluding the uh, April Fool's Galleon event. So yeah, these are very rare as well. Haven't seen these in a while. Um, this one, the Kennedy's one, comes with 3,000 gold rather than the other two with 1,000 gold. Not sure why that is, but if that helps sway your decision, then get this one here. And then Gaijin Net Stales, 50% off in the Gaijin store. A uh, little vague. Um, that's interesting though. So I think what that is... On November the 7th, so not today, so from November the 7th to November the 14th, so a week from now, 50% uh, off will be in the Gaijin store. I imagine what they're trying to say is that, uh, basically, because at the moment, vehicles in-game are the ones that are on sale, so vehicles that you can buy for gold and silver, um, and then in a week's time, the vehicles that will be in store so the pack vehicles like the Real Cat 105 and the helicopters and so on, they will be on 50% off. So the bundle vehicles, don't take my word for that because details will be revealed on November the 7th. Stay tuned for the news, do stay tuned. So also a whole bunch of War Thunder events if you want to take part in those. There's more details on this on the website which is here and a whole bunch of links to the various tournaments. Uh, there's a total prize fund of up to 181,000 golden eagles which is quite a lot. And any winner of any of these tournaments will also receive an E100 for free, which is very nice, very rare tank. And they get this cute little decal as well. So, uh, yeah, that is the War Thunder 10th anniversary. Quite exciting stuff. We have rare vehicles, new vehicles, discounted vehicles, and general fun atmosphere. So, get out there and... Uh, Go unlock some stuff, go buy some stuff, go spend your cash. Uh, and uh, if you like this video, then hit that like button and comment what you will be buying. Also, will you be going for the Sturm Tiger? Uh, which of the uh, rare vehicles did you want to unlock? So, yeah, uh, that's all from me. And uh, take care, and I'll catch you next time with some more War Thunder content.